Hi there. In this video, I'm going to share how to create a legal entity in Oracle Fusion SaaS Cloud. Basically, a legal entity setup is nothing but your company structure setup. So let's go into Fusion Applications and let's see how it goes. All right. So here I am. Now, before I proceed further, I'm going to quickly show you the release and version of uh, Oracle Fusion SaaS Cloud. So basically we are on release 13 and version 23D. Okay. Having said that, I'm going to close this. Now, in order to create a new legal entity, you've got to look for a task or less manage legal entity. So let's type in there. Okay, here it is. Hit the search button and click on this hyperlink. And once again, click on this hyperlink. And then here, either you can use this task to manage an existing legal entity or you can create a new one. So choose the appropriate option. So in this case, we are creating a new legal entity. So from the LOV, click on create new and then hit the button apply and go to task. And once you're there, then you click on uh, the create button which is this plus icon right here. So click on this one and then you give the name of the legal entity. So first select the country. So in our case, it's New Zealand. So I'm going to scroll down and look for New Zealand or you can use the search functionality. If you recall in one of my previous lessons, we have created a legal address and that's exactly what we are going to use it. So I'm going to give the name of our legal entity as Orange New Zealand. Okay, and you've got to also remember that uh, a legal entity is nothing but your company structure setup. Now, what is legal entity identifier? So if you go to your uh, country specific companies uh, registrar, there it will give you a unique identifier to identify your company. That is what is nothing but your legal entity identifier. So give that over here. So in this case, I have just gone to New Zealand uh, registrar and I've just picked up some legal entity identifier just to start with. Okay. And I'm going to give a start date. So you can give any start date if you like. So let's say 0101 say 1970 or 1949 if I say as an example okay and whether it's a payroll statutory unit so and whether it's a legal employer or not it means that uh, whether this company is going to be a payroll entity or not whether it will have employees and it will pay to its employee maintain its payroll details etc so you can answer it as yes and whether it's a legal employer answer it as yes if it's going to employ people okay and then you come down and give the legal address so if you recall the legal address we have created was this one a little while ago and then place of registration you can give something say Auckland as an example and in our business scenario as well we have said that Orange in New Zealand is based in Auckland whereas it's got a main branch located in Wellington so I'm following the same business scenario now legal entity registration number so the company board or company registrar will give a unique registration number along with legal entity identifier so both of them you've got to have it so give it over here so i'm going to give this and then cuit i'm going to give the same thing and then i will hit the save button if there are any issues or errors in terms of this number maybe it may pop up so I'm going to hit the save button and see how it goes. So now it's taking a while. I think possibly it is doing some validations in the background before it saves and come out.
all right so your changes were saved so this legal entity is created successfully and once you're done you hit the save and close button so i'm going to do that and you're done by creating a legal entity so in the next lesson i'm going to go and i will go into this particular task manage legal entity hcm information and we'll provide some more information over here